Article number four, revolving funds. Move that the town authorize revolving funds under Mass General Laws, chapter 44, section 53 E and a half for the fiscal year beginning July 1st, 2014 as printed in the warrant. Is there a motion? Is there a second? second. Selectman Chunglo, could you please speak to the article? This article sets up seven revolving accounts to handle electrical inspections, cemetery burials, repairs to the Russell School building, recycling payments, dog control park and recreation programs, and sealer of weights and measures. User fees, fines, and rental income will pay for these services. The spending limit for each revolving fund sets up upper spending ceiling. The spending limit may not be what the vendor or agent actually receives. The vendor or agent will get only what they submit invoices for based on receipts taken into the revolving fund. Electrical inspection services have been paid through the revolving fund for several years and is a successful program. The town will collect 10% of the electrical fees to cover administrative costs, so there will be no hidden impact on the tax rate. The Russell School building needs the usual repairs and upgrades common with 100-year-old buildings. An anticipated rental income will be reinvested into the building. We anticipate that over the next year we'll receive $50,000 into the building. We have invested over $70,000 into the building already. The recycling revolving fund will pay for recycling services associated with the transfer station. The dog control revolving fund will help pay for expenses associated with keeping stray and dangerous dogs in kennels. The North Hadley Village Hall rental income will be used to help support the Park and Recreation Department programs. This income will supplement income that they already received through program fees. The Sealer of Weights and Measures is a new program that is mandated by the state. The City of Northampton has agreed to perform these services at an inspection rate structure that will cover all operational expenses and the revolving fund will keep all such expenses off the tax rate. Surplus cap on each revolving fund prevents unnecessary accumulation of surpluses in, in, in any of these accounts. At the end of the fiscal year, any amount in excess to the surplus cap will be returned to the general fund. Any discussion regarding Article 4? Seeing none, I'd like to call for a vote. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. aye. All those opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Article number 5. Move that the town transfer from free cash, $43,000, to cover unemployment, unemployment expenses and further make the following transfer in fiscal year 2014 budget. And further, transfer $19,250 from account number 432, I'm sorry, 4235130, snow and ice overtime, to account 42355. 3 3 snow supplies and ice expenses. Is there a motion? Is there a second? If I could ask Guilford Mooring to please speak to this article. So, the first part of this article is actually transfer $43,000 from certified free cash to cover our unemployment expenses. Our expenses this year were a little bit beyond what we predicted. We had a few more people leave and file for unemployment. The next part of this article is to pay for this most excellent winter we had. <laughs> we actually, overall, the budget was $36,000 in deficit. Uh, we have some means to make up that deficit within the budgeting process, but we also need to transfer $19,250 to cover this excess. So if you enjoyed the great skiing season we had, please vote for both these. <coughs> Thank you, Mr. Mooring. Any further discussion? Hearing none, I'd like to call for a vote. All those in favor, please signify by raising your cards. All those opposed? Motion passes unanimously. 
how did you guys let me get through seven articles without giving you the information from the select board and from the finance committee? We were testing that. Okay. Article number seven. And by the way, has anybody ever seen a gavel that looked like that? <laughs> this was given to me by the family of Frank Reynolds, and I use it proudly tonight. I used it at many a town meeting, and I thank the people who give this to me, and I, wear, I, I use it honorably. Thank you. Article number seven. Number six. See that you are on me now. Move that the town amend the vote taken under Article Three of October 24th, 2013 Special Town Meeting by inserting the phrase and the University of Massachusetts project as printed on the warrant. Is there a motion? Is there a second? The select board recommends this five to zero. The finance committee recommends this four and one, abs one absentee. Mr. Nixon. Good evening. This is a housekeeping article with no financial impact. Uh, back in October, we, uh, we realized that we had received a late payment for a major electrical work uh, that the inspectors had to perform. And at that town meeting, we transferred $6,000 over to an account so that we could pay for our electrical inspectors in a timely manner. Uh, what we forgot to do was to specify exactly what that payment, that project was going to be about. And it's for work at the, uh, the stadium at the University of Massachusetts. So this article just clarifies that purpose. Any further discussion? Seeing none, I'd like to call for a vote. All those in favor, please signify by raising your card. All those opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Article seven. Move that the town will transfer from the stabilization fund $84,668 to pay the estate of Dennis Huckwoods for, con for contractual buyout of accrued leave. This is a two-thirds majority. Do I have a motion? Is there a second? Selectman Chungo, could you please speak to the article? Chief of Police Dennis Huckowitz passed away this winter while still on duty, and his employment contract has a provision that his estate shall be paid up to 2,000 hours of accumulated leave upon his death. This article takes care of that obligation. Money for this obligation was deposited into the stabilization account in 2012 in anticipation of the chief retirement. Unfortunately, we are sadly that this did not occur. At that time, we placed $244,348 into stabilization, and a part of that what was intended to meet our obligation to the chief. So there is no impact on taxes, so we are um, bound to pay the $84,668. Um, we will do that in two payments to the family, but we want to take it out of stabilization now. Thank you. Any further discussion? Seeing none, could you proudly raise your hands and support Chief Huckowitz's family and his estate? Opposed? Unanimous. Thank you.